So I'm really excited about the board because it's time. The Hydra Hulls set the standard for progressive longboarding in, in the history of surfing. Because of that board, everybody I'd meet, oh, the best board I ever owned was a Stewart Hydra Hull. Right. So I'm trying to give them their next board to buy into right. to say, here's one that's even better than your best one you ever rode. Right. So I call it a Porsche in a pickup truck. Basically, in the back, it's a Porsche. On the front, it's a pickup truck, right. and it should have the lift and the, and the good nose riding ability. That's what I like. This, it's really a modified Hydra Hull, and I've made a pintail out of it to give it a little more hip curve and a very narrow tail, but it has a huge nose on it for insane nose riding. I de-rockered it in the front, and the single concaves go into doubles all the way through the entire bottom. So it should be ridiculously fast, nose ride insane, and still have that light, free feeling. So I'm really looking to make the fastest board possible. It has the same beveled rails right. that are angled up to make the board really thin down the rails to make them really bitey and beveled to make them forgiving. But the entry it doesn't have the bevel. I took it out and I just put a, a smooth curve up in the, and flipped the tip a little bit so it doesn't catch or push or plow. thinking about what you don't like about a certain board and you want to keep what you like and get rid of what you don't like. So in that thought process you go, okay, how can I make it paddle better? Well, you straighten the rocker. How can I make it turn better? Give it more hip curve. And, and you start manipulating little parts. There's no one perfect part to a surfboard. It's everything put together perfectly. Right. That's what makes it work so good. It's basically height, weight, age, ability, and what are you trying to do on a wave. And then you have a good designer make a board and help you uh, guide you to your happiness. That's really what I think my shop does. When you walk in there, the people are educated, they understand the boards, and they, they never sell the wrong board to the, to the person, just make a sale. faster, a little bit wilder than the rest of them. Where's my drummer? 